Brockville is obviously one of the oldest franchises in uh, the CCHL. Um, we've been around for 60 plus years. This is a community that lives, eats, sleeps and breathes uh, the Brockville Braves. Our attendance is, is one of the best in the league consistently. It's a point of pride for our organization. I've been in this league and I've graduated from this league and I know exactly what it takes. For me, it was, it was a no-brainer to start this academy to make sure that we give our kids the ultimate chance to have their dreams come true, and that's what it is. Uh, we can talk about Wayne Simmons of the Philadelphia Flyers. Wayne was a, a power forward who did exceptionally well in our program and, and then moved on, obviously, to be drafted by the LA Kings. Larry Robinson, um, you know, you don't have to say much about Larry. Uh, and uh, Todd Gill, who played 15 years in the league. Our ultimate goal is to get players onto that level. Uh, but first things first, they have to do well here. They have to get through school. They have to get good grades. And they have to uh, move on, and that's what we're here to do. Um, so on week one, you get up. They end up going to school, participating in the, in the classes that they need to graduate. The students are in two face-to-face -face classes here at Thousand Islands. Then they take another class online. So what I do is I study online and I study the SAT prep. So it was just like a, another off-ice training thing that I was able to do. Then students are on the ice every day and they actually earn a credit through our co-op program. And they can maintain their focus on their main academic uh, courses while they're still uh, developing their hockey skills. So it actually takes the pressure off them. For families of, of younger teenagers, 14, 15 year olds, it's, uh, you know, mom and dad, it's not easy for them. Last year when I was 16, I moved to Brockville to, to pursue my hockey and, and, and my schooling. So it's a real test of your character and your maturity. But I'm here doing something that I love. I'm here getting better every day, I'm pursuing my academics and my hockey. And everyone's supportive and everyone's just trying to help you and make sure you fit in. It kind of teaches you to be responsible and a mature young man. We know, quite frankly, the NCAA is looking for well-rounded individuals. They're not just looking for hockey players, they're looking for intelligent, uh, hard-working hockey people. I feel like uh, people here are all committed to it, so I feel like no one out here is going to kind of get lost with that. It's a really good nurturing environment for, for players to develop, so Brockville's been a, a really key part of my development as a player and part of the reason I'm, I'm the player I am today. Whether it's a, a player that came in to be a fourth line player, whether it's a, a, a player that came in to play for the Tiki's or Major AAA, that, that fourth line player has now moved up to a second line role. That Tiki's player has gotten the opportunity to play uh, with the big club, the Braves. Our Midget AAAs are getting games with the Tiki's. The club system that we have here is definitely working and what it allows them to do is, is allows them to play a lot more minutes and get a leg up on the competition who, who may not be playing as much in games. And the kids are definitely benefiting from it and they're seeing the results. Being a Brave is, is a special feeling and you know, it's really something that, that's apparent to me and it's a privilege. When we have our home games here, it's, it's always packed. It's special to play at the Madhouse on Friday nights. Everyone comes and they cheer and that gives the energy that we're looking for. Having players like Cam Crotty this year who are, are draft eligible, uh, putting four more kids through the NCAA Division I. By the end of the season, we should have another handful of Division III. Um, it's what we do, we take great pride in it. Now I'm, I'm confident that I'll be comfortable um, and mature enough moving forward to life outside of Brockville and maybe even outside of Canada if it, if it brings me there. We're very happy with the, the way things have come together. We know that the, the future is very bright for our program and we just want you know, the prospective player to understand that and, and realize that we're in it for them.